Do you have a scratching dog? You're wondering, is there anything else I can do? Well, in this edition of Entry Secrets, I'm gonna show you something that could work really well. Make a belly. Oh. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. I'm here today at my brother's acreage on Vancouver Island. He's got two dogs. This is Heather's other dog, Angus, as it being a bit shy. We'll get him in the camera hopefully shortly. Today we're gonna be talking about itching. Yes, Angus has come to join us as well. Hi Angus, yes, good look. Yes, good girl, Heather. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they're awesome border collies. They love attention. <laughs> and they're gonna be great for this video. <laughs> so Angus and Heather, they have a pretty charmed life. They live out here in beautiful Vancouver Island on this big open acreage. No cars, lots of space, awesome weather. And they have some great pet parents. So Things are looking pretty good for them. Michael said it started about four or five months ago. Five-year-old dogs, they've had zero issue with allergies, with itching. Then all of a sudden, you know, they start to scratch. The both of them, which, you know, makes you think, like, what does your dog have? More likely when I'm seeing two dogs start scratching all at once, I mean, the most common thing is they've got some type of parasite. So the first thing Michael said is he, you know, they wondered about, he talked to me, he wondered about fleas. He, you know, got a flea comb, he checked them all out. You know, especially, you know, as they seemed to, he said he were there chewing the, the base of their tail, kind of chewing in here. And pretty typically when you've got a dog that's chewing at their tail base or a cat, more often than not, there's a flea, there's some type of parasite. So he went through them all, he used a flea comb. Um, he used some type of uh, holistic flea shampoo, but they just kept on itching. Next, Michael said they went to something more traditional, meaning he went and purchased the Advantage. You know, that's the over-the-counter topical anti-flea medication. Both Angus here. Come here, Ella Angus. Good boy. I mean, he, he is the one that's doing most of the itching. They're both treated with Advantage um, and you know, the regular course of treatment. The itching continued. Then Michael talked to me. We, and then I wondered, they'd been in a kennel. And one of the things you've got is sort of this middle-aged dog, they've never had a history of an, any type of allergy, any type of itching. They've been in a kennel, possibly exposed to other dogs with other potential diseases. All of a sudden they start to itch. So one of those differentials then is there's a type of mange called sarcoptic mange or sarcoptes. And it's, it's fairly easy, it can be transferred dog to dog, pretty common to get it at a kennel for instance. It's really difficult to diagnose mange as well as treat it, but the one over-the-counter um, treatment that works quite well, that is relatively safe conventionally, is called Revolution. So I had Michael then pick up the Revolution, and they were treated, you know, for three treatments every two weeks apart, thinking if it's mange, it's got to treat it. Nothing. They're still itching. It's not fleas, it's not mange. So I'm like, okay, he's got to do a proper food trial. So Michael did. So the big thing about doing a proper food trial is you're going to be feeding your dogs a unique protein, um, ideally minimal carbohydrate and a unique carbohydrate, one that they've never been on. You're going to do it for a minimum of six weeks and be really strict. I mean, they're not getting any other additional treats. And if they are getting treats, try to make it that food. So you really control access to it. And you know, that's what they got. Mm. Good dog. <laughs> so they're on, you know, this special formulated fish and sweet potato diet. Um, six to eight weeks, still not helping. So 
so we've gone through all of that. The advantage, the revolution, the die change, like still are itching. So based on doing, going through a trial of all those different things, you pretty much are ruling out, you're ruling out parasites, you're ruling out mange mites, you're ruling out food as an allergy. Then you're sort of left with environmental allergy or atopy. By the way, I'm here for one particular reason. Yes, as you can guess from the card, Michael turned 50. Michael's 50. <laughs> so you're left with like, how can you naturally treat that? I mean, are you stuck with going to your veterinarian? Do you need to then look at, you know, the stronger drugs such as prednisone? Like, is there anything else holistic or naturally that you could consider that, you know, is potentially going to deal with all this sort of ongoing itching that could, you know, prog progressively get worse if you get, don't get on top of it. So it's not just that it's any supplement and it's not just that it happens to be my supplement. It's actually Ultimate Canine Advanced Health Formula. So what's happened is I've taken the original supplement, it's been reformulated, so it's got additional essential fatty acids. It also has one unique particular ingredient which has been shown to be helpful and with people and with animals in terms of decreasing the inflammatory response that you may see in allergies. And that's the 95% curcumin. So Michael was saying they were getting some of their food and they're getting a scoop. These guys are about 50 pounds. So they're getting a scoop of the Ultimate Canine Advanced Formula mix into their food daily. Good girl. You can have some. There, mm, good girl. And he said it took, took them both. He fed it for about three weeks and that's when he started to see that their, de uh, their itching pretty much stopped. So it's something, it's not gonna be instant. You know, it's not like you going to see your veterinarian, you're gonna give a sh shot of dexamethasone and they're gonna stop itching the next day. Um, so it is gonna take a period of time. But the fact that he saw it within three weeks, so it's three to four weeks, and they're just being fed the appropriate dose once a day and to see them decrease that level of itching where it essentially ends um, means two things. Likely one, it is atopy, so likely some type of environmental allergy. Um, more, more likely than not, it's dealing with the house dust mites because you know, that's the one thing that's most common during the winter months that your dogs um, would more, most likely be allergic to. Um, but then third, it's the additional 95% curcumin is probably more important than any other um, particular ingredient um, that has been shown to be helpful um, for atopy or environmental allergy. So if you guys have an allergic dog and you're kind of wondering, is there anything else I can try? Do you need to get the supplement of like canine in advance? No, you don't. Uh, more important, if you're gonna add anything in addition, you wanna get the 95% curcumin, you're looking at doses at about 100 milligrams. Um, per 10 pounds of body weight daily. And ideally, you're gonna also add in additional essential fatty acids. But it just so happens that those two things are in adequate levels in my supplement. Secondary, there are other ingredients in the supplement that may also play a role in terms of the colostrum, the probiotics, the antioxidants. So all those things in combination can help uh, deal with environmental allergy. Thank you guys so much for watching this edition of Venery Secrets. If you get to do so, I would love for you to try my supplement. It's Ultimate Canine Advanced Health Formula. You can click the link further in the box below for more information. Also, a big thank you to Angus and Heather for being pretty willing participants. Good boy, Angus. Thanks, Angus. Good boy, there. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, they're awesome dogs.